before we even knew it. Yeah. He loved, he loved, that's what this brother was preaching about. He loved, he loved Paul before Paul ever even, oh, yeah. he ever even knew it was there. And he, and he spoke to him and spoke to him that day right out of the sky. It was, a, it was amazing that, that, you know, it, like the, one of the writers said, some said it thundered, but others said an angel's face. Uh, There's a, he's, whenever that, whenever that Paul heard him that day, it was, it was just like an angel speaking yeah. to him. It, it was an angel, it was the Lord. Yeah. It was him. And you know, there's a scripture that comes to my mind this morning, and I, I, I think about sometimes about what we have to, what we think and what the Lord thinks. What we think and what the Lord knows. He that even whenever before they, but we were ever born, before we were ever ever thought of and come into this world, God already knew that we would be right here today. He, he, my dad used to say that God calls God calls this little building to be built right here so that we can meet out here today. Like we are and feel the what feel the wonderful blessings from heaven. Yeah. Oh, bless the Lord today. Yes. How wonderful he is. How is today. We're not worthy of, of, one, of one little bit of His mercy. We're not worthy of anything today, but He reaches down His, his hand of mercy. Boy, he, and like that old song said, they used to sing in the association tent all the time, and I'd hear that start rolling out of there. They'd sing it every year. They'd say, reach down, reach down thine arm of grace. What called me to a sin? What? never break up and Sabbath's never in. There's a, well, there's a place like that, people. There's a, well, there's a place like that today. There's a place like that that, well, that, that some of the saints are already over there waiting yeah. on. Some of them are already there waiting on us. Yeah. And you know, you know that whenever that, whenever that the Lord was, was going by a certain way, He, he was talking to His disciples and, and, and He said that, He said that that he must needs go through Samaria. And I wondered, you know, you know, the Lord, the Lord had to go through the Samaria because he knew what he was going to do already. Whatever. He said, I must needs go through Samaria. And he, what? He spoke to him. And what? He went to that place and, and, and he, and he came to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the parts of the ground that, that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Wow, bless God today. Wow. that little woman there that day. Well, bless his holy name yeah, today. Well, yeah. he, he placed her there. Well, oh, that Jesus could come by, could come by there and speak to her. Well, that he could speak life eternal. Well, if he speaks, he can speak life to you today. Well, yeah. oh, and I'll tell you, it's like the brothers were saying, oh, Satan only speaks death to you, but God gives you life. Well, well, in Him there's life. Yeah. His life was the light of man. Wow, well, His life today. He, that's what gives us life. Yes. We're able to live. Yes. And it says, Jacob's well was there being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well. And it was about the sixth hour. And there came a woman of Samaria to draw water. And Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. Oh, give me some of that. Uh, give, right. me, give me a little water. Oh, you, know, yeah. you know, whatever you... If you live down here in Florida, you sometimes you can sometimes you can you can just think about how thirsty you must have been and how how hot it gets down here and the place up over there in that country where they where there's so much desert land and all the heat and everything and, and you know that he said to give me drink for his disciples were going away into the into the city to get to buy meat he, they'd gone to buy food and he and he went by there why well, he, he just like he didn't be that night. Wow, he went by there to save that woman. Yes. Wow, he went by there to tell her his life. Wow, he went by there that, oh, that very day. He said, I must needs go through Samaria. Wow, he went by there because that woman was there. One person was yes. there. Wow, he considered that one person. Yes. Wow, he considered that one woman there that day. Oh, and I'm so thankful that night that whenever that I cried out to him, wow, he considered. Case. Wow, bless 
his holy name today. Yes. Well, that he would consider my little worthless life oh. to be something. Well, that he would consider me. Well, that, though that he would not just consider me to be his. That I could be his. That I could be one of his little lambs. Yes. Well, you know, he said for the... And he, she said, I, I said to the woman from Samaria, How is it that thou being a Jew askest drink of me? Oh, because oh, she knew that the Jews had no dealings with the, with the Samaritans. They'd been cast, well, they'd been cast out many years ago. Oh, being part of the church way back at way back years before that. And being and being and being cast out. And, and, and Jesus said, If thou knowest the gift of God, and who it is that said to me, give me drink. And he would give you. He would ask and you would give. He would give you that living water. Yes. There's, there's water that the Lord will give you to make you alive. I appreciate you know, it. We could, we could go. We could go in out here in this world, and we could work down here in Florida or wherever you might be. And if you drink that water that 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 we drink, you'll thirst again. But He's got water that you can drink that you wow that you never thirst no more. Oh, because He's both. He's sure and steadfast. Yes. Well, well, yes. for, for he says, for it's, for it's impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and been partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. Why if they shall fall away to renew them again under repentance? Why seeing that they crucify all the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame? Why is it possible today? Right. It's impossible today. Why? To renew them again, and people coming back and forth saying, "Well, I I slipped and I and I did this and that and I fell here and I fell there." And but I'll tell you today, well, that, that he makes that he puts that if in there, and he makes us why well, he makes us pray without ceasing. He makes us pray and say, "Lord, boy, well, if I'm one of yours, would you help me? Why well, if I can only, boy, well, if you'd only help me this." Oh, just one more time. And it seems like we've got a one more time every time. You, every day we've got another one more time. Oh, he chastens his brother. Oh, oh he and he said, that, and she said, the woman said, Thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep, from which thou hast thou this living water. How do you how do you get this living water? You can't go, well, you don't have anything to drink it out with. Wow! Right. He was that living water. Yeah. Why? He was alive, and him was life. And he could give her that living. And and he came by that way specifically to meet that woman there that day. There he is. Yes, he did. Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank there of himself, uh, there of himself and his children and his cattle? And, and Jesus said to her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Uh -huh. So we're always, we're always, and it's just like the scriptures say, blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Yeah. Wow, wow, yeah. With that, yeah. with that living water. Yes. Blessed. He God. said, he said, whosoever drink of this water that I shall give, give him shall never thirst, but the water that, that I shall give him shall be in him a well. What a well of water springing up. Uh, into, into everlasting life. He's talking about a water. He's talking about something that you can get a little, get a little sip of that'll give you life, give you everlasting life. And you know, and people will say, "Well, we don't know whether that woman was saved or not." It's not for me to say whether that woman was saved or not. It's not. For, it's not for me to say whether that. What? What? Since you know, we used to be so hard. To, I, I know that it's a controversial thing, but people used to be so hard against the so-called adultery question and all these things and what they call double married and all that kind of stuff. They couldn't hardly take this scripture because it because it was taken, it was put in, it was put up, it would go against what they what the rules in the minute said. So if you so you couldn't so you couldn't hardly take this scripture and go against the, what the minute said or the brothers would talk about you. And and they they'd be kind of like that, kind of like those people. Whenever some of us would go up to uh, up to the association, sometimes and they'd say, "There's some of my mayors coming in." Here. And, uh, you know, you know, I, I was like I told Billy, he's kind of got a little something against him because he's. 
because of his name. Uh -huh. he, we, we've, always, we've always had a little something because of our name. But you know, I'll tell you that I believe that God gave me a name. He said that he'd give you a new name. Yeah. Yeah. Like his brother said, you don't need to wear a sign around your neck. No. Wow! Because God gave you a mark. That's right. That's right. You well, God you. put a mark on you. And he Thank makes you, people Lord. able to recognize you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those people over there that live around Brother Jerry over there, they recognize something. And I'll declare, he don't have to tell them. He don't have to hang a sign out in the front yard. They come over to him and ask him, why? That God has put that mark on you. Amen. Yeah. Oh, and the woman. You know that the woman said, Sir, give me this water. Well, Jesus had already said, If you knew, if you knew the gift of God and who said unto mm -hmm. you, give me drink, thou would have asked him and he would give you the that living water. Well, he tells her about it. Just sir, give me this water. Yeah, yeah she asked for it. Oh, I want some of that. You know what? Whenever that I ask, he said, ask and it shall be given. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Seek and you shall find. Yeah. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For he that asketh receiveth. What? If you ask with a sincere heart and a contrite spirit, why bless God today? He's faithful and just to forgive you your sins. Yes, he is. Woman, the woman said, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Oh, give me some of that. Yeah. Why? Wow, that's what I was looking for that night. Yes. Why? Wow, that's what I was looking for whenever that I. Why? Wow, but I got in such bad shape. Why? Well, I got so far away from God that I didn't know what to do. Why? Wow, I ask him for that water. I began to plead with him. And when he. You know what God knows? God knows whatever that your heart is. Yeah, that's right. that's right. You don't have to suffer. People will say, I had to suffer until he, till he forgave me. Christ is also one suffered. The yeah. just for the unjust. For the unjust suffered. that he might bring us unto God. Christ is already suffered. Yeah. He's already done the suffering for you. Yeah. You don't have to suffer. Yeah. Yeah. Not to get right with the Lord, but... You know you will. You will suffer because we we're so contrary yeah. that we just that we'll go on and go on and go on until we get in such bad shape sometimes that the Lord will show us that our that that's our only way out. And he she said, "Yeah, thank the Lord for that." Yes. Jesus said, "Go and call your husband." Huh. Come here. Uh oh. Well, well, that's where the, that's your stickler right there yeah. on, on yeah. some of the on the minutes. Yeah. Now he didn't say go look in the minute and see what you can do because he was eternal life. He was life. In yeah. him was life. He was and in word. him was there eternal was. life. Wow! He was the rock. He was that rock in a weary land. Wow! He was the yeah. rock of ages. Yeah. Rock of ages was standing there saying, Wow, well, God, call your husband. <laughs> and the woman said, I have no husband. Uh -huh. He said, That's the truth. That's the truth. <laughs> the truth. <laughs> For thou, thou said, Thou hast no husband. Thou hast well said, I have no husband. Uh -huh. For thou hast five husbands. Oh, my. Well, you know, people will say nowadays if you want to get technical about it, they'll say, well, that ain't your husband or your wife, you're just living in adultery. Uh -huh. and, and they'll say, well, you're married in adultery, you're living in adultery. And I don't know why I got into this conversation, <laughs> but still, but still today, he says that thou hast had five husbands. Mm. And he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. 
in that thou thou hast said truly. Uh-huh. You you said you you're true. That you don't you don't have one for the one you got now is not your husband. That's right. You've already had five. And the woman said to them, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. He knew all about her life. Oh my my mercy mercy. He knew why. He perceived that he was a, he said, he said he we got a part-time preacher here. Well, that's, that's kind of what, that's kind of what, really what the old Baptists have always thought were kind of just part-time preachers. Yeah. People, I've heard the old timers get up and say, I'm a part-time preacher. I preach whenever that the Lord blesses me. And when he don't, I can't say a word. Well, I'm not telling you today. Why? Of this world. Wow, we're a full time child of the Lord. You're a full time Christian. And the woman said, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worshiped in this mountain, and, 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 and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. And then Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me. The hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. Mm-hmm. There's a Father over there. Yeah. Got a, there's an old song that I've got a Father in bright glory. Mm-hmm. Why well, I've got a Father in bright glory. I hope, to, I hope to get over there someday. Yeah. Yeah. Why well, you worship? You know not what. We know what we worship. The salvation is of the Jews. For the hour cometh and now is. Oh, when true worship, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. What for the Father seeketh such to worship him? What about the the spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth? Amen. Yes. He said that if you're one of his disciples, you shall know the truth. The truth shall make you free. Yes, it will. Well, so we're free today. We're free men and women. We're, God has made us free by the Spirit of the Lord today. Amen. God made you free. We're not under bondage no more. No, we're not. Right. Paul said that, that be not be not be not entangled again in the yoke of bondage. No. Oh, he said he he said that he said because Christ has made you free. Right. You're all, mm-hmm. you're free today by the by the blood of the Lord. Yes. And the woman said, I, I know that Messiah comes. I know that Messiah is coming, which is called Christ. She said, you know, the old Jew, they, they had prophesied all the way down the line that, well, that someday that someday that Christ would come. Yes, right. And they call and they said, Someday the Messiah will come. One of these days the Messiah will come. And when he has come, he will tell us all things. Yes, he will. Jesus said, I that speak unto thee am he. No. What would you do? Yeah, well, what in the world would you do if you down in a place like that uh, and didn't hardly didn't hardly know your left hand from your right? Why did you meet the Lord the Savior, the creator of this world? Why to be there and understand that he must needs pass through Samaria? Why did he came out of that way and just consider your little life? Oh, I tell you, that ought, that ought to be a humble. That ought to make you humble if nothing does. Yeah. That God would, that God, the Creator of this world, would would come, would just consider your little, your life, a worm like me. Just for, just consider my life and lift my feet and set them on higher ground. Yes, amen. <clears throat> and you know. It says that upon this came his disciples, and they marveled. Mm-hmm. They marveled that he talked with the woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He had already said that's why he come by there. Yeah. Well, that's why you know that's this story makes you realize why he must need to go through some marriage. Sure.
And yet no man said, What seekest thou? Or what seekest thou with her? And you know the woman left her water pot. Oh, she left her pot there. Oh, my. You know, I, I, it seems like the woman left her water pot. And she went into the city. <laughs> she went to the city rejoicing. Wow! She began to publish. Wow! Come see a man that knows your very life. Yeah. Come see a man that can tell you all God things. That ever I did. She said, Is not this the Christ? Yes, it is. Now, now was that one was saved? No, she life. recognized who that was. Yes, she did. She recognized who that was. What Jesus said, if thou knewest the gift of God and who it is that askest thee of drink. Why thou ask? Why he would give you the living water? Yes. That whereof you drink, you'll, you'll never thirst again. Never, never. Well, it pretty much gets right down to the right down to the meat of it. Whenever she says, "Is this not for Christ?" Mm -hmm. Well, she had met Christ, and then then they went out of the city and came unto him. And in the meanwhile, the, his disciples prayed and said, "Master, eat." But you know what Jesus said? I have meat to eat that you know not of. That's right. He had been out there feasting all of that time. Yeah. God, boy, God, God could <laughs> sustain him without food if he wanted to. Yeah. But he had meat to eat that you know not of. People go by this little church today, all these people running up and down the road. Yeah. And I thought of for a few minutes I thought just about the very few that was here and I was over there feeling sorry for myself and then all of a sudden the Lord spoke mm. yeah. the Spirit. Mm. and the Spirit of God oh the Spirit and the bride say come yeah. oh he's in his thirst wow he's in that of thirst oh let him come and take the water of life for him wow well, God's able to. I'm persuaded that He's able to keep that which I've committed unto Him against that day. Yes, God's are. able to keep us if we'll trust in Him with all of our heart and soul and mind and strength. Yes, He'll keep us. He'll keep us. Never forsake us. And so I know today that I know today that sometimes the crowd is kind of small, and we call it a crowd when there's four. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it sound better, anyway. So, but you know, he didn't, the Lord didn't promise us that the house would always be run no, over. No, he didn't. But he promised us that where there's two or three gathered together in his name, that he would be in the midst of us. He'd never leave us and he'd never forsake us. And I, today we, we felt his presence. Today we felt his presence whenever that we, we sat in here this, this day. We, we sat in here today and it seemed like the, well, some might say it thundered, but I tell you, I can hear an angel. Oh, the other said an angel spake. Some might say it thundered. They might, they might not understand outside, but still, in here, he, he gives you ears to hear what the Spirit says. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to quit. One o'clock, I'm going to call for a song. And while we sing this old song, if there's anybody that wants to take up membership with this old Baptist family, the Lord is going to be. The Lord is the one who has to save you. We can't save anybody. That's right. That's right. But if the Lord is speaking to you today, and while we sing this old song, come up and tell us what great things he's done for you. Yeah. I